just spoke to our friend and he had a very interesting question whether AI is going to take his job. Let's look into it. Our newest flagship model, this is GPT-4.0. Gemini is delivering our most intelligent AI experience. The launch of Amazon Nova. We are introducing more than 50 plus new products. We're going to try something that, as far as we know, no tech company has done before. Google has been at the forefront of Gemini many of was those better than any other GPT model. GPT-4 is there. incredibly advanced. More than any other large so one is the smartest model. Gemini is our largest and most capable. We're going to announce two Gemini 2.0 enables new well, kinds. deliver frontier intelligence. AI, or artificial intelligence, is becoming a common part of our daily life. When I spoke to my friend, he seems very stressed about AI and he's shared something very interesting about AI, which I like to share. He told to me AI is everywhere now, from the ads we see online, tracking our interest and shaping what we buy, to self-driving cars that are redefining transportation. He worries that as AI keep advancing, it won't just assist us, it might replace us. Job that once required human expertise now being automated. He fears that soon AI could take over entire industries. But is this really the future we are heading towards? Or is there more to the story? So would AI replace our job? IPOS, on the other hand, did the research in a different way. It asked the respondents of 33 countries what they feel about AI. Would it is going to create new jobs? If you see in China, Indonesia, Malaysia, they responded very likely it is going to create new jobs. So what kind of jobs it's going to create? But before that, let's try to understand from the business perspective, what, what exactly, what kind of job it is taking over. In finance, AI is transforming by enhancing banking security, detecting fraud and enabling algorithm trading. There can be a robo-advisor help investors make decisions without a human broker, which can prevent a financial loss. In logistic and transportation, AI is transforming by optimizing supply chain, reducing delivery times and cost, enhancing efficiency through self-driving technologies and automated warehouses like Amazon Robotic Fulfillment Centers. Even in healthcare, AI is helping to transform by detecting diseases earlier, personalizing the treatment plan based on the patient history and enhancing the precision in surgery with the help of AI-powered robot. My last example is customer service. AI enhances by providing instant support to chatbot, automated responses, and analyzes the customer issue for faster issue resolutions. So these are the businesses which are going to get impacted because of AI. But based on the research which you can see right now, it has put forward various departments which are going to have the major impact because of AI and a smaller impact because of AI and no impact. It has put forward IT, operations, HR, supply chain in all the things. Okay, in this list, if you can see, IT is going to have the major impact because of AI and AI technologies. But there are few jobs within the department which are not going to get affected. Let's look into it. As per this research, when job needs one of the skill sets like creativity, judgment, empathy, those kind of jobs are not going to get affected because of AI. This research says that the jobs like healthcare, educator, graphic designer, coders are not going to get affected because of AI. But instead of fearing AI, let's look into the jobs which are going to create it because of AI. AI is going to create jobs like machine learning engineer, data scientist, robotic scientist. The skill set which is going to be important for these jobs would be programming, statistics, neural network. If you don't know where to start, I'm going to showcase you one of the websites from which is going to create a roadmap for you. Okay, so go ahead and write roadmap.sh. So it would bring you to a website called roadmap.sh. If possible, create a login for yourself. If you see, there's, there are all, already created roadmap based on roles, for example, front-end, back-end, iOS, DevOps. There's our roadmaps which are based on scale, for example, SQL, Python, JavaScript, right? So these are pre-created roadmap. But as I know, I want to create a roadmap for the given role which I'm looking for, for example, data scientist. So go ahead and type data scientist. So it is going to create a, so that is already a roadmap, says AI and data scientist. Let's go ahead and see. As I had shared, the important skill set for data scientists are nothing but statistics, programming, deep learning, right? So it has put forward in the same sense that it starts with mathematics. When we think about mathematics, the basic mathematics is very, very important. 
then statistics, econometrics, coding, EDA, machine learning, deep learning, MLOps. It's a perfect roadmap for to be a data scientist. Okay. So it 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 not only creates a roadmap, but it also helps you to let's let, let's for example, if I click introduction to statistics, so it is going to take me to the respective learning website. For example, it took me to the Coursera. Okay. So this can be a very good start to upskill yourself for data science or AI or machine learning engineer or robotic scientist. Okay. So from here, you can start and you can track your progress. Okay, guys. You can pause here and create your roadmap first. Once you have created the roadmap, now you know what kind of courses you have to do. That's amazing. Right. Now, what is next? The next is nothing but future proof yourself, not yourself, even the society for the AI. Why? As, as there are multiple researches has been done, it says that by 2030, the AI market is going to be somewhere around 1.8 trillion, which is fantastic. In last two years, by 2022, it says that 37% of the organizations have already incorporated AI or adopted AI so in some manner, right? But I'm very, very sure by 2030, 90% of the business are going to have some kind of AI technology and emerging within them, right? And there are going to be multiple technical breakthrough. For example, what happened with DeepSeek, there are going to be multiple things coming up with different, different other companies, right? So make sure that you continue to keep learning what is happening, what, what kind of stuff is there. Create a roadmap. Don't stop in data scientists or don't stop in robotic scientists. Keep updating yourself with new, new skill sets. Right? And if you are in a career which you it's not related to AI, do that career transition. Have a confidence in yourself. And I'm very sure this leap in your career which you will take is going to be very, very successful. Right? And try to adapt the skills which you have learned in data. For example, the neural network, the statistics, the coding. Try to adapt it as much as possible. Now, it is is, is it the end of it? No. Try to remember that keep following the AI trends, which is what is happening. Have a proper understanding of AI awareness. Try to understand the different different tools and technologies which are coming forward. Go and do your experiment. Don't shy with it. Go ahead and try to use ChatGPT, DeepSeek, Workplacity, and different other tools which are available in the market. And try to see where are where, where is your stronghold in it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put forward the important AI tools which I use for my for my use cases right there are multiple AI, AI tools that can be used for different use cases for example i use gamma to create presentation i use ChatGPT for summarization i use perplexity for researching some news and all right so i can create a list of all the tools which i use at the same time make sure that you go ahead and try to do experiment from from your side and create that experience for, for yourself right so i'm going to take a pause here and if you have any questions anywhere Make sure that you put forward your questions in the comment. I'm happy to answer those questions and and be there for you. Thank you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the AI journey. So is AI taking our job? There's no doubt that AI has changed the way we are working in. By the same time, it has created new kind of jobs, new kind of career, new kind of industries. The key is to stay informed, upskill yourself, and adapt the changing environment. So if you are still here, Please share your thoughts. What do you think? Is AI changing the job? Is AI trying to take your job? Or what is your thought about it? Right? So please go and look into the other videos what I have created. And please subscribe. Do like the videos. And if you have some ideas, do let me know in the comment section.